Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Gameplay. My name is Dan Diz. Thanks for joining us for our second episode on the Druid deck that I'm using on Hearthstone. Pretty good deck. Uh, it, you know, as long as you can get good draws, you can get your proper cards out there early. You can get heavy, heavy cards out early on, and uh, you know, it's really beneficial to uh, to winning, getting those daily challenges done, and all that stuff you need to do to grow yourself in Hearthstone. So uh, I'm going to hop right in here. I'm going to start a match up. I'm going to hop right in. We're going to wait for that match to start up. While we're waiting for the match to start up here, please feel free to check us out uh, on Gameplay.com. As well, if you enjoy the videos, you find these helpful, even though they are, you know, fairly standardized to someone, you know, with a little bit of tweaks and whatnot. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment on the video. Let us know what you think. We're uh, really interested to hear feedback, good or bad. We can take constructive criticism. So, you know, let us know ways that you think we can improve. Or if you think, if not, let us know what uh, what you do like. We're going to throw those cards out a little too early on to have uh, such high card cost, or high cost cards, rather. Um, got my Leper Gnome here early on, which is nice. Get him out. If he's going to be able to do some damage, he will be able to uh, to deal some damage after that as well. So, generally on first turn, leper gnomes are looking at four damage right out of the gate because he's going to be able to attack usually, uh, and he's also going to deal damage once he dies. If he makes it to the second turn, however, he's going to become a little bit more dangerous with this mark of the wild, so long as it works. He's going to be able to heal that back. I see exactly where he's going. This is almost like uh, the two episodes that I did before. I had a priest deck, and it was an early on priest deck, so I don't remember what was tweaked at the time and what wasn't. Um, but you'll see me doing a lot of moves like this, pulling my light well out really early on, getting that out there, because there's not a whole lot that can do five damage this early on. There's not a whole lot. So uh, that in mind, it's just going to sit here and heal itself. It's going to heal any damage that's done to the hero. It's going to generally heal any damage that's done to itself. So. Be interesting to see where he goes with the second move because he's either going to A, heal himself. Yeah. This is very good for me right now. There we go. I'm going to be able to take his light well out immediately before he's able to uh, to take out the card, double its health, and then turn its health into its uh, attack power because we all know how that combo goes. We just got two of my Sunwalkers, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I'll have to be able, I'll have to deal with that later. Oh, look at that. There was win number two right there. He wasn't interested in fighting with my Leper Gnome or my Panther. Druid number two win. Less than three and a half minutes in. Hey, you got to get people giving up. You get them coming, you get them going. Either way, I ain't mad. A win's a win. The guy couldn't take the heat. Get out of the kitchen. But uh, no, shout out to him. I mean, if you don't think you can win, if he's got a handful of cards that he can't use, no point in continuing. I'm Dan Diz. Thanks for watching part two of my Druid deck. We'll be back with more episodes of Hearthstone decks, just doing daily challenges and, you know, messing around on Hearthstone. So, uh, like I said, if you enjoy you get anything out of the deck, like, subscribe, comment, all the YouTube good stuff, and uh, we'll catch you guys later. Peace.